ZTXT is a browser-based code editor written in HTML, PHP, and JavaScript. I originally designed it uh, for use in my classes, and after about a semester of using it as a teaching tool, I decided to start using it as my main editor. Um, if you want to install it, you can go to github.com slash zevinrosser slash ztxt and download the zip. Next, you're going to want to install MAMP if you don't already have it installed. And you can get MAMP at uh, MAMP.info and you should download the free version. If you're on a PC, you can download WAMP. When MAMP is installed, it'll go into your Applications folder. And uh, MAMP hosts a local website inside of an htdocs folder. And the reason we need this is because ZTXT is written in PHP, so this will allow us to run PHP locally on our machine. Um, you're going to want to put the zip that you downloaded from GitHub into your htdocs folder, extract it, and trash the zip. And you'll probably want to rename this folder ZTXT. I'm going to create a new folder Whoops. called projects directly next to the ztxt folder. And then I'm going to start map. When you get this splash page, you can come up to the URL and change it from this to localhost colon 48 ztxt. And this is what you should see. You should see the projects folder that we created, um, the splash screen, and uh, the code area. So ZTXT is based or uses uh, a bunch of different libraries, jQuery, CodeBearer, JS Beautifier, Zen Coding, uh, jQuery Color Picker, and jQuery File Tree. Um, and it was inspired in part by JS Fiddle. Um, I'm going to make a new document here by right-clicking on the projects folder or control-clicking on the projects folder and saying new document and I'll call this test.html. So uh, one thing about ZTXT is if it detects a or if you have a period in your file name uh, it's going to know that it's a, uh, a file. If you don't have a period um, something like this test it automatically thinks that that's a folder. Some people don't like that. I think it's a good feature. It basically means you can't have folders with uh, periods in their name unless you rename them after the fact. Anyway, here's a test.html. And I'm just going to make a regular HTML document. I'll increase my font size a little bit. And I'm going to type z colon HTML tab. And that creates a, a default HTML5 document. Um, I can write here and it appears in the preview window on the right hand side. Uh, these can be dragged around like so. Um, Zen coding is uh, available here so I can uh, use that. I could say div class is box times 20 tab um, and if you want to Google Zen coding you'll see uh, how that works. Here's my style tag so I'll create a rule for the box and when I choose a color <clears throat> uh, for each box I can use this color picker up here And I'll give these boxes a little margin. There we go. I can delete a few boxes here. And I can test it in a new tab. 
I can force test it again. Uh, I can find and replace and say maybe find box and replace it with rect. Replace all. Um, and one of the nice things about working with a code editor directly in the browser is that you have the web inspector. Uh, so I can come in here, right click on one of these boxes and say inspect element and it's going to bring me right to the HTML um, uh, so that I can uh, view the style, I can tweak that around, I can get rid of the background color, I could change the, the height to 20, um, just like you would normally do, um, but it's just right there instead of uh, uh, having to save your file, uh, move to the browser window, open the web inspector every time. You can you can pretty much just leave the web inspector open at all times. Uh, of course this is great for JavaScript as well. Um, I'm going to delete everything and just do z colon jQuery tab which will give me a new uh, jQuery file. Well just an HTML file that it includes the latest version of jQuery by default and it has the uh, on dom loaded function. Uh, but I can say console log test and it shows up here in my web inspector. Uh, if for some reason I don't want to test my script again and again, if it's some kind of a heavy script, uh, I can turn off auto testing and it won't refresh. You'll just see the ZTXT the splash screen. And then when you're ready to see it again you can click the auto test box. Uh, when I write scripts that populate databases, <clears throat> um, I often uh, turn off the auto testing so that I don't populate the database more than once. And that's pretty much it.